Good evening. Good evening. All right. Thank you. Welcome to your Massachusetts Firefighting Academy's graduation call volunteer, recruit class 110. My name is Dennis Ball. I'm the Deputy Director of Training here at the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy. I have the actual honor and privilege of being your Master of Ceremonies this evening. Welcome to all family and friends and dignitaries on behalf of State Fire Marshal John Davin and the men and women of the Department of Fire Services. For family and friends unable to make it here this evening, this event is being recorded. It will be available tomorrow sometime, preferably in the morning, um, for your view and pleasure. This will be on YouTube through the Department of Fire Services um, website. Yes? I'd like to thank Christina Mitchell sitting right here with the camera, and she's going to make that happen for us. Okay? Thank you. So at this time, I ask you to please join me in welcoming our presiding officer for this evening's event, State Fire Marshal John Davin, accompanied by the official party. Please join us welcoming the fire chiefs of the departments of the graduating recruits. Chiefs. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to rise for the entrance of class 110 and the posting of our state and national colors.
Ladies and gentlemen, class 110 was led in by members of the Worcester Fire Brigade, Brigade Pipes and Drums. Thank you, fellas. I'd ask you to remain standing for our presentation of our national anthem, Firefighter Jesse Rassicott from Sherborne Fire. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Detail, poster college. I ask you to remain standing for our invocation delivered by Chaplain David Eady. Dear God, our loving Father, who has the ability to search the depths of our hearts, we come to you tonight seeking your guidance and your blessings. We ask you to strengthen the hearts of these brave firefighters who put their lives on the line every day to keep us safe. May they always have the courage to act with integrity and honesty and to think clearly and rationally in the face of danger and adversity. We pray that you will inspire them to strive for excellence in every aspect of their lives and to always choose the path of righteousness, even when the easier path may seem more appealing. May they always be committed to upholding the highest standards of truth and justice. And may they never be satisfied with anything less than full truth. We ask you to endow them with unwavering courage, born of their loyalty to all that is noble and just. May they always stand firm in the face of danger and adversity and never waver in their commitment to do what is right, no matter the cost. We pray that you will bless them with new friendships and opportunities to serve their community and that they will always be a shining example of the highest ideals 
of the firefighting profession. May they always honor their duty to their community and to you, O oh God, our loving Father and Master of all. And I ask all these things in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. I'd ask you to please be seated. So welcome, everyone. I'd like to introduce the members of the official stage party. So the, the Department of Fire Services is a vital public safety agency that works to keep the community, our community safe. We provide firefighter training, obviously, public education, fire prevention, code enforcement, licensing, fire investigation, hazardous material responses, and incident support throughout the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. The person entrusted to lead the Department of Fire Services is State Fire Marshal John Davin. The director of the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy, Mr. Eric Littman. <laughs> Chaplain David Eady, Senior, Orange Fire. <laughs> Co volunteer program, assistant program coordinator, Bruce Anton, Captain, Swanji Fire. Assistant Program Coordinator, Michael Dupuis, Chief, Lester Fire. Call Volunteer Program Coordinator, Christopher Norris, Chief, East Hampton Fire. Just a couple of thank yous before we get started. So every organization has staff members that are behind the scenes supporting our mission. Their dedication and efforts are the backbone of our success as instructors, program coordinators, and officers. I'd like to just say, say thank you to our program administrator, Ms. Kerry Marquardt and Ashley Payette, as well as the entire registration team. Thank you, Kerry. <laughs> I'd also like to acknowledge the lead instructors, Mr. Aries and Mr. Robinson. Along, along with the staff, instructors, and support staff. They are all, all fire service professionals, sharing their passion for the fire service. Emergency events occur in the Commonwealth daily. It is almost assured that an instructor or a support member within our system was a participant in those events. Their experiences are shared, timely lessons are learned, Lively well, discussion of the good, bads, and ugly, and debates ensue, and at times resulting in the revision of our lesson plans and growth in academic thought. As a result, the citizens of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts benefit, as well as the recruits, they sit here this evening prepared to meet the challenges of the job. So thank you to the instructors and support staff. Thank you so much. So at this time, it's my honor and my privilege to introduce State Fire Marshal John Davin for a few words. Marshal. Thank you, Mr. Ball. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, chiefs, and esteemed graduates. Today, we gather to celebrate this pivotal moment as these recruits become Massachusetts firefighters. Class 110. Let me be the first to welcome you to the best job in the world. Although I'm proud to serve as your state fire marshal today, 25 years ago I knew very little about firefighting when I walked through those same academy doors. I credit this institution for providing me countless opportunities to develop my skills, to expand my knowledge, and to challenge myself. I wholeheartedly believe in this system and am committed to ensuring that Massachusetts firefighters have access to the highest quality training, state-of-the-art equipment, exceptional instructors, so you can best serve the citizens of the Commonwealth. Together, we will protect our communities through professionalism, dedication, integrity, and training. More than two-thirds of the communities in the Commonwealth are protected 
by call or volunteer firefighters. You are pivotal and vital to the fire service and a key partner in keeping our community safe. As a former fire chief in Western Massachusetts, I relied heavily on call and volunteer departments for mutual aid response. I admire your dedication and willingness to serve in addition to your work and your family commitments. The past 15 weeks have given you a very basic understanding of the tactics and strategies you will need to keep yourself, your fellow firefighters, and your communities safe. Your learning is not coming to an end, but rather it is just beginning. You must continue to train. Come back to the academy again and again to attend classes, ask questions, go to conferences, read, inquire about what other departments are doing around the country. You owe it to yourself, your department, and your community to be the best firefighter possible. Although we never know what our next call will be, I can assure you that no two calls will ever be the same. Gone are the days that firefighters just battle fires. This is an all hazards role that will challenge you to think on your feet and solve real world problems under the most difficult conditions. You may respond to everything from an alarm activation, a medical emergency, a motor vehicle accident, and a chemical spill. You'll conduct fire drills, install car seats, check smoke alarms, and give station tours to aspiring firefighters. I hope you proudly wear the Maltese cross on your shoulder, as it is known around the world as a symbol of protection and a badge of honor. Your presence alone will offer hope to strangers on their worst day and bring calm in the midst of chaos. Your community has placed an enormous amount of trust in you. Honor that trust and never ever do anything to jeopardize it. There is no doubt that firefighting is difficult, both physically and emotionally. I implore you to stay in shape. Continue your physical training. A fit body will serve you well when you need it the most. Equally as important, take care of yourself mentally. Do things that you enjoy. Spend time with your family. Take a vacation. Slow down a little. Your department will be here when you get back. Firefighting is not for the faint of heart, but it is deeply rewarding, honorable, and exhilarating. You'll never ever be bored or lonely. You'll work as a team, you'll become a family, and you'll forge friendships that will last a lifetime. Thank you, Class 110, for answering the call to serve. On behalf of the Massachusetts Department of Fire Services and the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy, I extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you and wish you a safe and rewarding career. Thank you, congratulations. I'd like to invite Massachusetts Firefighter Academy uh, Director Littman to the podium for a few words. Director. I would like to welcome family, friends, active and retired uniform personnel to celebrate the graduation of call volunteer recruit class 110. It is an honor to stand here tonight as the director of the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy. My 30 year firefighting history, working as a firefighter paramedic and captain began and ended working in combination departments within the Commonwealth. It provided me with firsthand working knowledge of how critical call and volunteer firefighters are to fire departments and the communities they serve throughout our great state. To the family, friends, and significant others of the recruits graduating today, I wanna to thank you and express my sincere gratitude on behalf of the entire MFA staff for supporting them during their training. I know from personal experience as a graduate of an MFA recruit class in 1996 that your loved ones graduating today did not, did not make it through the rigorous training and academic fireground evolutions 
without your support. I can assure all of you that they've been provided the foundational firefighting skills in accordance with the highest industry standards from instructors you see here tonight that have hundreds of years of experience collectively serving their communities. The recruits will graduate tonight to become a part of the finest profession based in service, honor, integrity, and the trust of the citizens in their respective cities and towns throughout the Commonwealth. To quote Albert Einstein, only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile. To the recruits of Class 110, congratulations, you made it. Continue to remain teachable from your training officers and the predecessors that have come before you. Most of all, serve the citizens of the Commonwealth with pride, integrity, and honor that has transcended this profession in Massachusetts for over 250 years. Back to when only the highest esteemed members of the community were asked to be volunteers for the rattle watch at night to alert citizens of a fire. Most importantly, stay safe and take care of your brothers and sisters of the fire service so that everyone goes home to their families at the end of the shift. Thank you. Program coordinator, Ms. Benares, for a few words. Yes. Class 110, congratulations. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the graduation of Class 110 of the Call Volunteer Recruit Firefighter Training Program. Tonight, we're here to celebrate the accomplishments of this class. The lead instructor for Class 110 was Mr. Aries. Mr. Aries, along with all the other instructors that you had throughout your program, provided you the leadership and the guidance for all of you to be here tonight. Each of them continually brought the dedication, the knowledge, the commitment, and certainly the passion to help you all succeed. To all the friends and family here with us tonight, it was with your support and encouragement that enabled the men and women of this program to succeed. You have become part of that firefighting family tonight, and I know you will continue to support them in all of their future endeavors. So this call volunteer program, what's it all about? The call volunteer recruit firefighter training program. It's a 240 hour program that teaches the core foundations and fundamentals to the, our profession to the national standard. Students going through this program learn how to properly don their personal protective clothing, properly don their self-contained breathing apparatus, carry, raise, and lower of all ground ladders, conduct primary searches for occupants within structures, advance hose lines through buildings, fire suppression, hazardous materials, and vehicle extrication, just to name a few. These program components and evolutions help to develop a platform for these firefighters to operate on the scene of any emergency efficiently and effectively to respond and mitigate any emergency. All of you have sacrificed and succeeded, and I hope we have met all of your goals when you started this program. Graduation from this program is a testament to your character and perseverance to accomplish a core foundation for your continued learning in this profession. In addition to this program, many of you had to balance other time commitments and constraints, such as working full-time or part-time, going to school full-time or part-time, family obligations and commitments, as well as other outside interests and hobbies. You have all faced numerous challenges throughout this program, and you will continue to face similar challenges in the fire service. These hazards and challenges don't change based on if you're a career, a call, or a volunteer firefighter, and neither does the response that will be received. Last night, we had the graduation of Class 109 up in Raleigh. And as I shared with them, 
I, I had the opportunity the past couple of days to reflect and quickly look back um, from the beginning of your class. And as you were starting your class back in October, your families, your friends, and many others were planning to get ready for fall outings and upcoming holidays. Not all of you. All of you were going to your primary jobs or school, and then after that, coming to our class for an additional four hours of training just to do it all over again in the following days. During these past few months, all of you were foregoing all of those fall activities to improve your competencies and skill level as a firefighter to better serve your communities. As you quickly reflect, reflect back and think about these times, I would remind you and everyone here tonight that this certainly is a reflection of your commitment and dedication to your communities and the sacrifice you have given to help protect those other residents. Through this program, you have demonstrated the core competencies to be considered a firefighter and face many of these ongoing challenges and hazards in the fire service. It is incumbent upon each of you to continue your training and education in a continued effort to stay safe and provide the best possible service to all of your communities and certainly return home safely to your families. I'm so proud of all of you for your decision to get involved in the fire service and for what you have accomplished together over the last few months. Each of you had your own strengths and weaknesses. However, together, you were able to accomplish all of these tasks. Congratulations on your accomplishment for completing this program. Continue your training. I wish you all the best and be careful on all that you do. Thank you and congratulations. So at this time, I'd like to call upon Assistant Crew Recruit uh, Coordinators, Mr. Dupuy and Mr. Anton, to call the roll of this evening's graduates. Friends and family, please approach uh, for pitches when your firefighter is called. See this yellow line where uh, Christine's sitting? Please don't come beyond that if, if that's okay with you. Good? Before we get started, uh, any veterans in the room? Veterans, please stand and identify yourselves. Veterans. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Any law enforcement in the room? Law enforcement? I'm on, don't be shy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The Ashby Fire Department, Chief Brazil, please come up. At this time, I'd like to call up Firefighter Sean Sheridan from the Acting Fire Department. Firefighter Sheridan is the father of graduating firefighter Keegan Sheridan. From the Athol Fire Department, Chief Guinera. Graduating firefighter, Jacob Sabon.
from the Boxborough Fire Department, Chief Gray. Graduating firefighter, Kyle Santos. From the Carlisle Fire Department, Chief Sorrows. Graduating firefighter, Leif Hansen. <laughs> Guys, come on up. From the Douglas Fire Department, Chief Ferno. Graduating firefighter, Finley Leupold. Grafton Fire Department, Chief Matthew. Graduating firefighter, Lazy Schwab. Graduating firefighter, Tyler Brout. I'd like to call up to the stage, Lieutenant Michael Bernia from the Devons Federal Prison. Rod and Fire Department, Chief McCurdy. <laughs> Lieutenant Bernier is the father of graduating firefighter Nathan Bernier. I'd like to call up to the stage Captain Sean Girard from the Westwood Fire Department. <laughs> Captain Girard is the father of graduating firefighter Kyle Girard.
from the Holden Fire Department, Chief Hall. Chief Smith, you're good enough. Graduating firefighter, Ryan Buckley. Lincoln Fire Department, Chief Young. Graduating firefighter, Nick Novich. Millville Fire Department, Chief Lorad. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Casey Hobson. from the Northridge Fire Department, Chief White. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Joseph Achu. Graduating firefighter, Frank Brackley. Graduating firefighter, Damian Zayas. the Orange Fire Department, Chief Young. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Mark White. from the Pepperell Fire Department, Chief Borneman.
graduating firefighter, Alexander Butchol. Graduating firefighter, Aiden Fenton. Graduating firefighter, Liam Fenton. Graduating firefighter, Derek Murphy. Peter Sam Fire Department, Chief Legay. Graduating firefighter, Atticon Gaddy. Sherborne Fire Department, Chief Ward. Graduating firefighter, Jesse Rasikot. The shoes be fired upon, Chief Bono. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Brendan Bernard. the Townsend Fire Department, Chief Shepherd. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to call up to the stage Firefighter Craig Desjardins from the Maynard Fire Department. Firefighter Desjardins is the father of graduating firefighter Trevor Desjardins. <laughs> Little 
blood won't hurt him. the Western Fire Department, Chief Woodside. <laughs> Graduating firefighter, Bradley Rice. Class, please stand. Ladies and gentlemen, class 110. See you guys. Thank you. Great job. So I'm going to reinvite the marshal back to the podium to present the Martin H. McNamara Outstanding Recruit Award on behalf of the Massachusetts Fire Training Council, who is our governing body. Marshal. Thank you, Mr. Ball. In November of 2003, Martin McNamara, a call firefighter for the town of Lancaster, was killed while operating at a structure fire. To remember his ultimate sacrifice, to honor his commitment to the call and volunteer fire service in Massachusetts, the Massachusetts Fire Training Council created the Martin H. McNamara Award for the outstanding student of each call, volunteer, recruit, training class. This program's curriculum is designed to train, educate, and evaluate students in the basic skills of the firefighting profession. The course is demanding both academically and physically. Just completing the course is truly an accomplishment worthy of recognition. In each class, one student is selected who has excelled in the training program, and this student is named as the outstanding student of the class. This recommendation is based upon the student's successful achievements in both academic and practical skills applications. At this time, I would like to invite Chief Joe Guerrera of the Athol Fire Department to join us on stage. takes all the excitement out of it. <laughs> I am pleased to present the Martin H. McNamara Award to the outstanding student of Recruit Class 110 to Recruit 25, Jacob Soban of the Athol Fire Department. Well done.
So each class assigns a class spokesperson to represent the recruit class. This recruit is selected by the assistant coordinators along with the lead instructors and is responsible for class leadership all and in all communications between the recruits and the academy staff. It's now time to call upon class spokesperson for class 110, recruit 29, Damien Zayas, right? <laughs> We did it, y'all. That's all I'm going to say. Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, chiefs and fellow firefighters, I promise I didn't steal your line, sir. <laughs> what an honor it is to be standing before you today as a president representing the Class 110 family. It has been such a pleasure getting to know these 24 men and women that are graduating today, and I hope to cross paths with all of you, again, whether it be here for more training or on the fire ground. I got the opportunity to make so many new friends, especially with two fine gentlemen that I had the pleasure of driving in with, who I'm proud to call brothers, as part of the Northbridge Fire Department. This was a sacrifice that not only affected us, but our families. With a raise of hand, who here is a direct family member, parent, sibling, guardian, spouse, partner, or close friend to those, to, to anybody graduating today? Please raise your hand. Thank you. Genuinely thank all of you. This would have not been possible if it wasn't for your support. Thank you for enduring the smell of smoke and the black smudges all over our faces. Thank you for letting us off the hook when we fell asleep after we told you, yo, we're 100% gonna go out with you all. You learned real quick not to, go, not to wait on us. Thank you for rubbing Ben Gay all over our aching bodies, even though that might have just been me. But, and a special thank you to my wife, Pascal, for supporting me. I don't think anyone here heard the words Fire Academy more than she did. Whether it was Christmas, whether it was New Year's, birthdays, it didn't freaking matter. Fire Academy, Fire Academy, Fire Academy. I couldn't have done this without you, Mia Moore. Can I please get a round of applause for our support? Thank you, thank you. Y'all supported us through this, and we thank you for your continued support as we embark on the next chapter of our journey as certified firefighters. Like, that's crazy, y'all, we're certified. And a major thank you to our instructors, including Mr. Aries as our, as our lead instructor, and Mr. Robertson as our secondary lead. Along with Mr. Nanigan, Mr. Mathon, Normandin, Gadvois, Taylor, Mullen, Morin, and Plant, and the rest of the instructors and support staff that made this journey possible. Thank you all. This class has personally given me so much, and I'm so proud to share a glimpse of what Class 110 is all about with all of you. Let me flip the page. We've seen more sunrises together than, some, than we have with some of those closest to us. I had to steal that from one of my friends, one of my wife's friends from class. And on top of that, we always made our presence known when we were on the fire, when we were on the fire ground. Any class that was out there with us, they knew 110 was here. Class 110 is made up of people from all walks of life, yet we all came together in the pursuit of becoming firefighters. This academy was tough, no lie. You heard it from all the other speakers here. Nevertheless, we made sure to have fun along the way because there's so much more to a journey than to just reach the destination. We were exposed to new music from artists like Too Short and Jay Giles. We shared fully planned date night ideas, including provocative Broadway plays. We engaged in some morning yoga we, we also, we all know how to tie the California love knot. So if anybody's interested in knowing, ask one of us. We talked about snowmobiling and dirt biking and hashtag throttle therapy. We shared many chest bumps. And let me tell you, there's no better way to get pumped up than an old fashioned chest bump. A few of us even had some friendly competition with some pull ups and box jumps. And of course, I won, come on, no, I'm just kidding. But in all seriousness, it was, it was pretty awesome seeing some, a couple of young men do some pull-ups with full gear, gloves, and SCBAs on. That was impressive. I know what y'all, oh, and on top of all of that, we became professional ladder handlers. So if y'all need a ladder put up, we got you. I know what y'all are thinking, and I promise we did learn how to fight fires. I don't think any of us anticipated just how much of a commitment this class was going to be until we were really in it. 
It was physically, mentally, and emotionally challenging, yet it was one of the most fulfilling experiences that I've ever had. We overcame so many hurdles to get here. There were those of us who came in with hair and with, left without, without it. <laughs> there were those of us who overcame lo, lo, language barriers. There were those of us who struggled with a newfound anxiety of claustrophobia. There were those of us who still showed up even when we were sick, even though the rest of us were like, you know, six feet, please. <laughs> there were those of us who kept going even after our dinner ended up in the grass. There were those of us that got a flat tire, changed that flat tire, got another flat tire, and still made it to class in time. There were those of us that dodged flying piece of car and only walked away with the scratch. And then there were those of us who overcame all physical limitations. This is what Class 110 is all about. It's about passion. Every man and woman sitting here before you today is here because of their unwavering conviction and passion for the fire service. To my 110 family, now that the academy is over, we have to prepare for low shoulder carry everything we learned here. Yes, I'm doing this. Don't forget to utilize the skills we've gained in the real world. Our journey is just beginning. So remember to move forward, look up, and trust that the overhead is clear for us to grow. Let's show the world what 110 is all about. All about. Let's show them what it really means to be a firefighter. Our road is not gonna be easy. And at times, we will face adversity. So remember to stop, take a breath. We are trained to stay calm in the face of terror. There will be times we must place ladder on ground and rid ourselves of that fear. It is vital to think outside of the box, to solve problems, and to achieve our goals. Many aspirations require hard work, so make ladder vertical and prepare yourself for the climb. With every reach goal, we grow and can take on more. When you are ready to go higher, raise the fly. You see, I'm doing this. I'm doing every single one because this is drilled in up here. <laughs> Goals are meant to be seized. This one was a hard one. So act like a bear and make sure your paws are locked around those that you achieve and always remember to celebrate his wins. Take risks and push yourselves out of your comfort zones, but remember to do it safely and tie the halyard. Always do your best and be kind to yourself. Life is meant to be lived so lower ladder to the building and climb. With only 25 more minutes left in my speech, I want to remind you all of what Mr. Nanigan said to us when we first got here. Remember to take your family with you on every call. I want to see all of you, years from now, old and retired, telling stories about the good old days. Let's be safe. Let's be courageous. Let's give our towns and communities the best damn fire service we can. I'm going to leave you with a little bit more wisdom. Believe you can't and you won't, but believe you can and you will. You all believed in yourselves to get this far, so do not stop believing in you. Now, 110 brothers and sisters, y'all ready to show, what, show these people what we're all about? What class is this? Class? Let's go, baby. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I am going to now invite a few of my fellow brothers up here to help present the Class 110 plaque. So, Finn, Frank, Mark, and Joe, please come up here to help present this plaque to Mr. Yeah. Ball. So, bring it on up. It's probably all the yeah. And with the rest of the 110 instructors, please come up as well. So there are, there are many, many traditions within the fire service. Each class presents a plaque to the instructors to, to, be, to be displayed on campus. It represents their spirit and it marks their efforts. It serves as an inspiration to generations of firefighters to come. So thank you so much for your gift and your generosity. Thank you. Yeah, this way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Aries. 
<laughs> it's not your first rodeo, right? I'd ask you to please stand for our benediction by Chaplain Yee. May the grace of God be with you all as you embark on your journey as firefighters. May you always remember the values and principles that you have learned during your training at the academy. As you go out into the world to serve and protect your communities, may you do so with courage, compassion, and humility. May you always be guided by the spirit of teamwork and selflessness. May you find joy and fulfillment in the noble work that you have chosen to do. May God's hand be upon you always, protecting you from harm. And may you always be a source of hope and inspiration to those around you. Congratulations, Class 110, on your graduation. And may God bless you abundantly in all your future endeavors. Amen. So ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this evening's ceremony. On behalf of State Fire Marshal John Devin and the men and women of the Department of Fire Services, I'd like to thank you for joining us on this very, very special occasion. We wish each member of Class 110 only the best in their careers. I'd ask you to remain standing for the departure of the official party followed by the Chiefs of the Department and the Worcester Fire Brigade, Pipes and Drums, will lead out Class 110. Class 110, come to attention. Follow up for your department duties. <laughs>